Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for viewing if you're new. What's up and welcome to the family. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the age old question. How much money do I actually need to start an FBA business? Well, in front of us, I've broken down every single step, every single purchase and every single software or any tool that you will ever need to initially get your FBA business up and running from where you currently are, which is having absolutely no knowledge and no business to actually running uh, your first product on Amazon. So you can see straight away, the total comes to literally just over $5,000. Now, this is, this video isn't gonna be like every other video uh, on this topic about startup capital. There's no shortcuts here, there's no fluff, there's no BS. These are actual prices based on actual software that you need. This is software that I use to run my business, so I know it works, and this is the exact price. $5,002.04 is a bit quirky. That is the exact number you will need to get your FBA business up and running. So guys, before we go any further, I want to tell you, I have a special deal for you guys, a special offer. It's called the 100 for 100 challenge. I am challenging myself to find 100 students. Now these students have to be special because these students have to be willing to invest in themselves and therefore invest in my course. However, it's called the 100 for 100 challenge. This course that I'm offering you guys, for these 100 people that opt in, the course is only going to cost £100. The reason for that is it's a new course, the channel isn't that well known, and it could feel like a big risk for you guys to invest in a course from a lesser known YouTuber. So my course is the Amazon Lighthouse course. It's for this challenge, if I find 100 people that are willing to invest, I will give it away for £100 to each of you. Uh, and that works out at $131. So if you guys are interested in the 100 for 100 challenge, all I need you guys to do is type down below in the comment section, 100 for 100. If you type in 100 for 100 in the comment section down below, that will automatically opt you in for the 100 for 100 program. So what I want you guys to do, if you're serious about opting in, is set aside $131. Now, when I reach 100 students, I will contact you and say, now's the time to invest. And immediately we're gonna have 100 thriving students that are hungry for FBA. And there's gonna be a private Facebook group. I've already got students at the moment uh, and you can ask any one of them uh, anything about the course. And honestly, everything I have on the course is different from what I have on YouTube. I've made a strict habit of differentiating my YouTube content from my paid content uh, and not a lot of other courses do that so be careful when you are looking at courses because oftentimes you end up paying for what you've already seen on YouTube that will never be the case with my course I've made a habit of that now anyway in this video we're going to cover the exact cost of your FBA business from start to finish so stay tuned and we're going to cover every single one of these points coming up All right guys, welcome back to the video. So this first point here, we're gonna get straight into this video by the way. No fluff of my channel, I'll make a point of that. So point number one, seller central. So this is your Amazon account that's unique to you as a seller rather than a buyer. So with seller central, there's obviously a monthly fee. Now you can actually choose between the free account and the paid account. Free account is the individual account. Uh, what this means is that with the individual account, there's no monthly fee. However, there's a dollar fee for every product that you sell. So this is only profitable if you are selling less than 40 products a month. So if you're serious about your FBA business, then go ahead and get the professional account, which is $40 a month. Because if you are serious about your FBA business, then you will be selling 40 products every two or three days rather than every month. So to sign up to Amazon FBA, all you need to do is head over to the Seller Central. And I'll drop a link in the text below. But here we can see it's $39.99 a month plus additional selling fees. Don't worry about the additional fees at the moment because you are only charged a fee per product you sell. So to get invested with Amazon in the first place, that fee there is irrelevant. So they're seller fees and FBA fees, but at the moment they do not impact your budget. So the next thing we need to do is actually find the product that you're going to be selling. So how do we do that? Well, the service I use is Helium 10, which is $97 a month. So let's go and have a look at what Helium 10 actually offer. So you've probably heard of Jungle Scout and Viral Launch. However, Helium 10 is far superior and here's why. And you know, it doesn't even display everything that they have here. Let me put it this way. Jungle Scout offer, I think four, uh, apps or extensions, whatever you want to call them. Helium 10 has 17. 17 apps or extensions that they, that they offer to you as a seller. And quite honestly, I use the majority of them. I don't use every single one of them, but I use the majority of them. But here's the other great thing about Helium 10. You can actually do the a la carte plan. 
which which basically means you can pay for the individual app rather than the entire service. If like me, you do use the majority of them, it's more cost effective to go ahead and buy the $97 a month program. However, if you just, for instance, uh, need the program to find the product that you want to sell, uh, which is using the black box tool, then it's $37 a month. You could actually slash that price from $97 to $37 a month. However, I strongly suggest you go ahead and invest in the $97 a month uh, program because that's going to allow you to, you know, find a product, uh, check the trends, get some keywords, uh, write your listing. You, you can actually write your product listing using the scribbles. Uh, you can check your index. And, and these are things that, you know, some of these are things that you can do for free, but they take a lot of time. And, you know, if you're someone that values time over money, then, you know, this is a program for you. And that's definitely the mentality I have. You know, I'm here to make money, but I also want to save my time because why are we doing this in the first place, right? It's because we're not, we don't want to trade time for money anymore. You know, we're not wage slaves. So if you're someone that wants to save time and invest in a cheap program, uh, you know, it may be more expensive than Jungle Scout or Viral Launch, but for what you actually get out of it, it's the cheapest. So if that is you, then Helium 10 is the program for you. So $97 a month. And like I said, this is where you find your product. You can get keywords in Magnum and Cerebro. You can uh, process those keywords in Frankenstein. You can actually write your product listing with scribbles. You can check if your keywords are indexed. You can track your keywords. You know, there's so many things you can do. There's hijacker alerts, but I won't get into that because that's probably for another video. So moving on from there, we want to get product samples, right? This is something that people are afraid to spend money on, and I don't know why. You should never skimp on money when it comes to things like listing optimization or sampling your products. So sampling your product, depending on the actual order size you go with when you come to actually order your products, you can normally get the sample actually refunded. Now, what they don't refund is the cost of shipping, which is the majority of that $50. So that, that $50 there, you, you're probably spending 35 to 40 of that in shipping. But it means when you actually come to order the cost of goods, you will get the remainder, you know, the 10 to $15 refunded. And it may not sound like a lot, but when you're running a business, 10 to $15, if you successfully handle your cash flow, something like that can really interfere with your business. So it's something that, you know, I always encourage people to include in their cash flow and to keep an eye on. Because if you aren't keeping an eye on 10 to $15 here, it means that you're probably not keeping an eye on 10 to $15 elsewhere in the business. And when they all culminate at the end of the month, that could be $100 or $150. And that's where we can start seeing... Uh, you know the negative impact in our business now barcodes barcodes is a big one and the reason why it's a big one is because you can either get dirt cheap barcodes or you can get expensive barcodes the difference between the two is that the expensive barcodes they're legitimate they're first hand the cheap barcodes they're knockoff and they're third hand by the time they reach you and here's why they are expensive right this company here uh, gs1 they are the only company in the world that actually supply barcodes they pioneered barcodes over 40 years ago, and they're the only company that has the, the legal right to distribute barcodes. So one to 10, that is how many barcodes you're getting. So with each unique product you have on Amazon, you need a barcode, not per product, because if you're selling a thousand units, uh, you don't need a thousand barcodes. You need 1000 of one barcode. You know, does that make sense? So for every unique product, so let's say you're selling board pens, right? If you were to sell a thousand of this black board pen, you would need one barcode printed 1000 times. However, if you're planning on selling three pens, so a black, green, and a red pen, you would need three barcodes. So for every unique product you have, you need a unique barcode. It's pretty simple stuff. So when you're first starting out on Amazon, the chances are you are not gonna exceed 10 unique barcodes. Most people have, you know, three barcodes maximum if they're doing variations. So that will cost you $250 initially and a $50 renewal fee at the end of the year. So $300 for barcodes if you were doing the legitimate GS1 route. Now you can get cheap barcode. You can get 15 barcodes for $10 um, through a site called speedybarcodes.com. I'm not going to link it in the text below, but I will link these guys because what I can see happening is Amazon are getting funny with barcodes and eventually they will ask everyone to buy their barcodes through GS1. Uh, directly through GS1 and if you don't have proof of uh, verification through GS1 they probably will shut your listing down sooner or later so better safe than sorry invest in GS1 rather than the cheap alternatives next up we have the application of the barcode so who's actually going to sticker your barcodes for you now Amazon will charge you I think it's 15 cents per, per barcode to sticker however if you get your supplier to do it for you they will always do it cheaper because they know the rates that Amazon charge and they want your business. So they will charge cheaper than Amazon charge. So what you're looking for here is a is a maximum of 10 cents uh, per barcode. So do the maths there, 10 cents by however many uh, units you're ordering and that's how much you're gonna pay. 
For the sake of this example, we've done 750. So 750 times 10 cents, that's what, $75. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but it's well worth it. And it's gonna be cheaper than what Amazon are gonna charge you anyway. So next up, we have the logo and packaging design. So how much does it cost to design a logo, get it printed on our products, and have custom packaging designed for us. Well, these are the guys that I like to use, Outline Matic. You can see they've got a bunch of different services. So if you just want your logo designed, $75. If you just want the packaging design, $237. However, I like to get both of them done. So packaging and brand identity. This is the, this is the package that I buy. So what do you actually get when you give these guys $297? Well, you get a minimum of three designs. So you get to choose which design you like best. You get your logo design for you. You get color and material recommendations. You get the open source file so you can send the uh, custom packaging design to your supplier so they can actually print it uh, and, you know, shape the boxes in their warehouses. You know, you get a lot of stuff for $297 and it's well worth it. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things when it comes to selling your product is perceived value. So custom packaging adds no real value to your product but it adds perceived value and perceived value increases your chance of actually securing a sale. So yeah, normally I go ahead and get uh, custom packaging. Next up, we have the inspection. Now inspection services are gonna give you a quote so they don't have a direct uh, solution for you know payments, but typically you're not really gonna spend any more than $150 on an inspection service. So basically what an inspection service does is when you're paying uh, money through to your supplier, you will give them 30% of the total cost of goods, which is this next one here. Um, to start the process of uh, manufacturing your goods. When they have finished producing the goods, they will ask you to settle the remaining 70% balance. Now the inspection service, what they do is, they will go and inspect the products before you give that down payment of you know the 70%. So if you pay for a $150 inspection before you put down that 70%, and it turns out your products are no good or they're broken, then you can cut ties with your supplier there, Count your losses on the 30%, but you would have saved the 70% had you not um, invested in the inspection service. So you may spend $150 there, but you may have just saved yourself, you know, $1,500 on products that would have otherwise been broken. Now, the cost of goods, uh, obviously, this is going to be different for every single product that you get uh, because, you know, the, the cost of goods can literally be anywhere from like 10 cents to, you know, $10, $20 per product. However, typically, you're going to be spending, you know, between two to five dollars per product so i'm, I'm going to generalize you know i have to generalize this unless i were to use a specific example but even then that specific example would only be relevant to me and not to you so generally speaking you're going to you know let's say three dollars per product uh, and let's say you get 750 products for your first order so that's two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and then the shipping again uh that's a rough quote now eight hundred dollars for 750 units it's quite rare so you're actually looking at 800 to a thousand dollars here and that is for ddp shipping or that is for a freight forwarder to come and pick up your product straight from the manufacturer's warehouse all the way to china so if you were shipping to the uk then these are the guys that i use obviously i'm a uk seller that's where i started selling on amazon they're a great company and they, they can actually give you pretty much live quotes so if you want a bit more information when it comes to shipping then then go ahead and join that facebook group and you can uh, you know dm me any any questions you have regarding shipping Shipping is one of those uh, processes that people really overcomplicate and the reality is it's not confusing at all because if you pay for a service such as Shippo, they are, they are one of those companies, they're a freight forwarding company that will pick up your product literally from your supplier's warehouse and deliver it all the way to Amazon. So nowhere in that process do you need to be visible. You literally, you give these guys money and then they're like, yeah, well, we'll just sort this out for you. And the great thing is that you actually don't give the money until after your stock has landed at your domestic port. So they will pick it up from China and they will ship it and they will clear customs and then you pay for your product. So what that means is that if you don't have the $800 now, but you will in 30 days from now, go ahead and get your product shipped now because they don't charge you until after it's landed. So after your product has landed at an Amazon warehouse, what do you need to do? Well, you need to get that bad boy on page one. So how do you do that? So there are two ways when it comes to launching a product. You can either do PPC all the way to page one or you can do a product giveaway. With PPC, it's very difficult to give an accurate estimate because the the price per bid on your keywords is gonna differ for every single keyword because it depends on the, the market and the competition. So typically you're looking at between $500 to $1,000 to get your product to page one using just PPC. However, if you are doing a giveaway service, um, then $497 is the price that you will pay. So this is the service I use, Page Oneify. 
$497 and they'll actually do some keyword research for you and they'll target some keywords for you which means when your giveaway has ended you will have a customized PPC campaign ready for you to take over and um, so if you're a beginner you don't really know much about PPC or giveaways you know this company is a really great company uh, to get you used to PPC because you know with with this option here they will give you a customized PPC campaign so they will literally do your PPC for you or at least get it started so when it comes to you taking over and by this time you're on page one by the way when it comes to you taking over you've got a product that's already on page one and now you've got a customized ppc campaign that is basically running itself and the great thing about uh, page one of is if they can't get your product to rank on page one then they give you a refund like no you know no hassle no you know no funny business here we go if your product does not improve we refund your money period so if they can't get your product to move that you know the way they expect it to move they'll give you your money back you know you probably don't even have to ask them they will just say your product uh, just isn't isn't you know launching for whatever reason and you know it's it's out of our control so here's your money back and you know go and try something else invest in something else or try ppc on your own product photography and copyright i'm going to include these in the same one so they are you know, listing optimizations uh, again this is one of those things that people think they can skimp out on however uh, i've done a great deal of research when it comes to product photos and the the listing in general this right here these two these two columns here this is how you make sales your copy and the photos they are two of the most major factors when it comes to actually making a sale so do not skimp out on these when it comes to uh, actually writing or creating your listing so three hundred dollars should be enough to hire a you know a professional copywriter and a professional photographer to take some really good uh, photos what you don't want to do is end up with photos that are obviously photoshopped in but when you're getting your lifestyle photos taken actually have a lifestyle photo go and get your product in that environment don't just photoshop it in because that makes a big impact on potential sales uh, feedback Wiz is the next one so feedback Wiz is your email automation service which is absolutely crucial when it comes to building reviews after you make a sale now when you're just starting your business if you're not making that many sales you can uh, manually email every single customer it takes a long time and you can't really add as much in like with um, with feedback Wiz, you can attach ebooks to the emails if that's something that you offer with your product which I do uh, and that's something you can't do when you're just manually emailing through the uh, buyer seller platform on seller central so uh, honestly go ahead and invest in feedback Wiz. it's the best email automation service I've ever used uh, I'm not an affiliate for these guys I just you know they changed my business because at there you know there was a time where I wasn't getting many reviews and then I started these guys and I was getting reviews like every single day I would wake up to like two or three new reviews and what that does to your business it's like steroids it's like someone just come and injected your business and suddenly you've gone from 10 reviews uh, you know at the start of the month to 30 you know 30 40 reviews by the end of the month and what that does to your sales is incredible so you know 15 dollars a month is absolutely nothing uh, and it's well worth it and then the final thing we have of course is whether or not you're buying a course so if you're not buying a course all of this costs less than five thousand dollars if you are buying a course if you're buying my course the 100 for 100 challenge this is going to cost you just over five thousand dollars now if you're looking to change your life then you have to be serious about investing your money you can't expect to grow as a business and gain financial and time freedom if you're not willing to invest in yourself and yeah that might sound like a cop-out because i'm asking you to invest in me but let me tell you this i, I studied psychology for a long time one of the biggest correlations to success is investing in yourself so there are six principles of uh, of persuasion one of those is commitment and it's not just persuasion it's success in general so the example that I use and you'll read this if you actually go through to my sales page is imagine you want to lose some weight and I said to you I'll give you free gym membership for a year do you think you'd actually turn up to the gym maybe you would you know for like the first month but then you'd lose motivation but what if you were the one that signed up to the gym in the first place well because you're personally invested you you are financially invested in that commitment you are way more likely to actually succeed in your goals because of your level of commitment it's no different from buying a course i could give you guys this course for free and you could watch every video but then at the end of the 60 videos you could have all that information and then not do anything with it when you actually invest in the course with your own money after those 60 videos are up your mentality is okay now it's time to get stuff done now it's time to take action and that's what i want you guys to do that, you know my course is full of actionable videos that after the end of those videos 
it leaves you feeling like you can actually do what the video is telling you to do. It doesn't leave you the feeling in the blue or, you know, oh, I've just watched, you know, 60 videos and that was great and I'm really, I'm really pumped up, but now I don't really know what to do. My, my course gives you actionable steps and advice, steps that you can follow to actually fulfill your dream. Uh, and these are steps that I've done to achieve my goal or my goals. Um, and I know that it can work for you. And having said I have a background in psychology, there is currently a bonus module, uh, the psychology behind sales and marketing. I will be removing it soon. That's not a sales pitch. Um, I'm building out a separate course based on the psychology of sales, which I'm gonna move uh, that module into that course. So for now, I've combined them, but eventually uh, I will be removing that bonus module. So guys, if that is something you're interested in, like I said, uh, comment down below 100 for 100 and I will automatically opt you in for the uh, 100 pound course. Now, bear in mind, please, it's 100 pounds, not $100, dollars $131.05. If you are not willing to invest 100 pounds in yourself, then you are at the wrong channel. You were in the wrong business and you're wasting everybody's time. What I'm looking for with this channel is a group of people that are willing to invest in themselves to change their lives. I invested in myself. I took out numerous loans. I got my FBA business and it changed my life. And I work at home five days a week now and I wouldn't have been doing that if I didn't start FBA. Guys, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then I implore you, invest in yourself, do what you know is right in your gut, and that might not be investing in my course. If you follow another YouTuber, then I encourage you to invest in that YouTuber and quite frankly, stop watching my videos because you don't want to take advice from two different people because even if it's good advice from each of them, sometimes advice from two different people can contradict each other. If I'm the guy that you want to follow, I'm delighted to have you. I would love to have you in my course. I'm going to leave a link to the course below uh, in, in the text below. So like I said, comment down below 100 for 100 if you were interested in taking my brand new FBA course. This course is different. It's unique. It's based on empirical evidence. We have a look at heat map studies and eye tracking studies. All of these important nuances that actually go into creating your listing that help you create the most, the you know, the highest converting listing you can. So guys, I've spoke for long enough. Thank you guys for viewing the video. Like I said, again, comment down below 100 for 100. You will automatically be opted in for the 100 pound FBA course. When I reach 100 students, I will message you all. Now's the time for FBA and I hope you guys invest. All right guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.